Hello and welcome to SDN Tech Forum. So today in, in our agenda is how to get started with Raspberry Pi. This is going to be a very uh, non-technical preliminary video, but I'm going to give you a very important insight, uh, show you how to assemble your Raspberry Pi if you're not ordering a pre-assembled kit. And at the same time, what software you can use to make your SD card as a bootable uh, disk and last but not least very important how to back up or take a snapshot of your SD card so uh, for example you have a Raspberry Pi running a uh, fine uh, up up and fine with some certain software or application and you want to take a cold snapshot of that uh, good state right so what you can do uh, how you can back it up as a DMG uh, that I'm going to show you in this video okay so the first is let's look at the assembly demo and I have a pre-recorded video which I'm going to pl play for you so let's watch it together all right so this is my Raspberry Pi kit um, and this is just the baseboard so I am ordering baseboard um, case and power plug separately so that it saves me a little bit on cost cost but you can order a pre-assembly kit uh, so it doesn't make much difference uh, so once you get your baseboard it looks like this right this is the baseboard sitting on an anti-static mat um, in this box so and you can see all the components so we have a um, Broadcom chip uh, which is, is a processor then we have CPU and all the ports Right, so the, here you have the Ethernet port and uh, four USB ports to connect your I.O. like um, uh, mouse, keyboard, and then you can use your SDMI to connect to the video component, right? And these are like GPIO pins. So if you plan to use any sensor, um, sensing hat, then you can use your GPIO. And this is, these are the two chips, Broadcom and memory chips. And you can see the specification when you order uh, the Pi baseboard from from the merchant. And I'm going to put uh, the link in the description. This is the case which I ordered separately because I don't want to like uh, keep the baseboard sitting on my desk. So it's better to order a case and secure it, right? So along with this desk, you see I got two heat sinks, and these heat sinks actually sit on um, the chip. Broadcom chip and the memory chip. That's why two form factors. Um, just peel the uh, adhesive and make it sit on the uh, chip. So this is the bigger one that goes on Broadcom chip. All right. Just put it on that. Press gently and it will stick very fine. Yeah. Now we are going to do the same for memory. Uh, once you have applied it on memory, this is the case and case has all nice uh, uh, holes pre-carved pre so that you, when you sit your baseboard, you don't lose um, or it, it is not going to block any of the ports, right? So open the case and make the board sit on the small part and you can see we have uh, pretty much holes for a, uh, cooling also. So if you are not using fan you can still keep your raspberry pi uh, cool with the holes pre-made holes and now just make it set press the case you should hear a click button and that's when you're good yeah you can actually there are some screws uh, came with this but i don't really need screw because uh, it's pretty good without screw now you are going to just plug um, your pi to power it up and i will i highly recommend you order a separate plug uh, that will uh, save your Raspberry Pi from power fluctuation and going up and down every often. All right, so as assembly is, as you have seen, assembly was pretty uh, nice and easy. The second part is flashing your card. So you will get the SD card. And if you want to flash the SD card, you need a software. So I recommend you use uh, EVO cards. And uh, you actually we are going to flash it with some software and i can recommend this balena hs software this is available in uh, windows and mac platform 
So once you download this software, what you can do, you can, it's very easy. You can select your image, whatever image you want to flash, like Ubuntu or Linux, so then select your SD card and simply hit on flash. 20 to 25 minutes, it will be flash and verified. Pretty easy. Then insert your uh, Pi card, uh, SD card into the Pi uh, SD card slot on the baseboard. And once you, uh, and, and just power it up, connect it with your IO and you are up and running. It will boot with the software, whatever you choose to load. All right, the final piece is backup. So for example, uh, I started with Ubuntu and I have uploaded all the good utility software and everything it's working as expected, but I'm worried that if it got rebooted or if I make some experimental changes, then I'm not able to revert back to the known good state because I'm not like a, a system administrator or something, right? So what you can do, you can always clone your card. Uh, so to clone your card, what you have, what you have to do, you have to take this card out from Raspberry Pi and uh, discover it in your laptop. So I'm using a MacBook, and that's where you can see disk util list, and my SD card is listed here. This is a 32 GB card listed as a disk two. Okay it's running Linux on it. Then what I have to do, once the card is uh, discovered, run this command, uh, partition command, uh, with copying rate, base rate of 16 MB, uh, 16 Mbps. You can vary the base rate, but uh, I feel 16 Mbps is a good, it's, it's not too fast, it's not too slow. And then you, since you're doing a sudo, put your password, and it is going to just copy and paste everything, and here, it will be backed up as sdbackup.dmg and this is your cold backup so in future whenever you want to restore to this image you can restore so to restore what you will have to do again that this time you discover your card but then you first unmount it so this is the restore part so if, uh, assuming that you already have dot dmg available then you are going to uh, unmount it and then finally just to copy the image run the following command again run the command and this time we are copying the backup to our sd card and that's how you can restore to the good image so thank you and in upcoming video as you have seen balena cloud so we have used balena software for flashing i'll talk about more about balena in upcoming video so thank you very much i hope you can get started with the raspberry pi quickly and easy with this video thanks